Good morning. Thank you all for attending the grand opening of Whitehall Park. I'm Stephanie Najid, the Beaufort County Passive Parks Manager, and I am so thrilled to be able to offer this opportunity to everybody. It has been a long time coming, I know, and I am very happy and proud of the work that's been done here and all of the citizen input we've gotten during the planning process. And um, I do want to give some brief thanks to a few folks before I turn this over to our distinguished guests, Councilman York Glover and City of Beaufort Mayor Stephen Murray. So first, I would like to thank uh, Mamie and Mods for um, providing our refreshments and coffee today, and also the Friends of Whitehall Park for their donation in the, um, in the providing of those refreshments. So that is really great. Thank you so much. I also want to thank um, former council member Paul Somerville. He's been very instrumental during the entire acquisition process. Um, without him, I think the, the vision here would be uh, quite a bit different. And also Alice Howard for her support and guidance as the Natural Resource Committee Chair. She's been um, a really great support of Passive Parks also in general. I also want to thank Eric Greenway. He's the Beaufort County Administrator. He has been a tremendous guidance to me personally in my career here over the last five years. And with his leadership and support, I've, I've been really appreciative of that. We have several partnering organizations that I want to give a little shout out to. The City of Beaufort and all of their wonderful staff, wherever they're kind of hiding in the back, for their management and maintenance of the property. The Open Land Trust, who has committed to um, providing assistance with the tree health on the property. And then, of course, the Friends of Whitehall Park for all of their promotion and volunteering activities on the property. Um, without partnering agencies and organizations, my job would be much, much more difficult. So thank you to all those folks. And last but not least, I cannot leave out my planning and development team. Without them, n literally none of this would be here right now. So that includes the Beaufort County Capital Projects Department, our um, contractors, wooden partners for their planning and co construction oversight services, and then of course Nick's Construction who did a beautiful job and paid attention to all of the tiny details that I greatly appreciate them for. So thank you to all of you guys too. So we are going to hear from Councilman New York Glover and City Mayor Stephen Murray, and I will introduce Mr. Glover first. Thank you, Stephanie. Um, I want to continue in the same vein um, that Stephanie started, just to add a few other people of thank you. Um, She's named some of the people. One of the key uh, groups uh, of people, and I, they're not going to like this. Uh, they're not going to expect this from me uh, because I've actually said that I don't like them at all. But I want to thank our legal department uh, for Beaufort County. Um, and it has nothing to do with them. They do a good job, a great job, really, for us but I just don't like lawyers, so I want to say thank you to the legal department because they made sure that every inch of property that we purchase is yours. And so I want to thank them for that. Um, <clears throat> yeah. I'm going to um, quote um, President Biden um, when he said, this is a big freaking deal. <laughs> this is a big freaking deal. Um, Beaufort County has purchased this property for you. Um, whatever is said and done for the future, um, this property is the citizens of Beaufort County. And for that, we thank you um, for this. Um, we, we have a partnership here between the city of Beaufort and the county. And in that partnership, um, 
the county owns the property, okay, uh, which means that it could never be claimed by the city, but the city is going to manage it. And so uh, the expense of maintaining is all of the city, but um, it's a great partnership. One of the things that the city um, wanted was a boardwalk, and they came to the county for that boardwalk, and uh, we appropriated funds for that, and they came back and said, that's not enough, and we appropriated more funds for that. So we have a lovely boardwalk that connects downtown Buford with this park here. And for that, um, it makes a good partnership. I call this park uh, the connector. It connects the Spanish Moss Trail to Hunting Island. You may not see that now, but this here is central to that con connect the connection, the connectivity. We have a plan for pathways all over this county, and this is a connector in the middle of Yamasee and Hunting Island. Um, and I, that's what I see, that's what I envision uh, coming before us. Um, I'm gonna allow, if you don't mind, um, Paul Somerville, and someone else, um, Larry uh, White, to make some comments on my behalf. So if Paul, you would come first and make some comments, because without Paul's leadership, this would not have happened. And I want to personally say to him now, thank you. Paul. Well, this is uh, certainly an unexpected pleasure. I appreciate the opportunity to say a few words. It kind of reminds me, uh, Years ago, there was a kind of a standing joke is how to become a millionaire. First thing you do is go out and earn a million dollars. <laughs> well, if you want to have a 10-acre park, the first thing you got to do is come up, come up with 10 acres. It turns out there were some obstacles to that, quite a few actually, and a lot of people worked very hard to overcome those obstacles so we could own this property jointly with the city of Beaufort to maintain it, and, um, and here we are today. Um, I have such a sentimental attachment to this property because when I was a little boy, my grandfather and I used to come here on Sunday afternoons and sit out on the seawall. My grandfather was a philatelist. No, that's not what it means. <laughs> a philatelist is a stamp collector. And uh, sit out on the wall out there and swap stamps with the gentleman who owned this property. I can't remember his name. He was an older guy in 1950, so you can imagine how old he'd be today. And so I developed a real warm spot in my heart for this particular spot. And uh, when it was time to either develop it or not, um, I, just couldn't, I just couldn't allow that to happen. So I went into action with a lot of other people, and uh, we worked really hard to get this 10 acres, give or take, and today it's probably going to be one, it's one of the most beautiful spots in the whole county, I think. So thank everyone who worked hard to make this happen, and I'm glad I was a small part of it, and thanks for being here today. Thank you, Paul. Um, I want to ask um, Larry White, um, who's with the Felburn Foundation, who was very gracious um, in making a donation, a large donation uh, to this cause. So, Mr. White, if you would come and just make some remark and close us out, um, I appreciate it. Thank you, Mr. White. Good morning. One thing that strikes me as we gather here, this place looks a lot bigger in person than it looked on those plats. Uh, and it's a, it's a wonderful reality uh, to reach. I am with the Felburn Foundation. We're a grant-making private foundation with headquarters in Ocala, Florida. And I was reminded about five years ago, we uh, had the opportunity to uh, make a grant uh, to assist in the purchase of this property by the county. Uh, uh, Felburn takes a lot of pride in what that has produced. Uh, and it was really produced by the city, the county, and all of you and all of the partners who came together to make it happen. Uh, uh, 
Carter and I have been in Beaufort for a little over 10 years. Uh, we feel like uh, we've lived here forever, and we uh, are grateful for the long-range, broad perspective view that the county brings to projects such as this, and we are very, very glad to be a part of it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now we're going to hear a few words from City of Beaufort Mayor Stephen Murray. Thank you. Well, good morning, fam. What, a, what an exciting day it is. I, um, some of the gray hairs that you see on me are probably a result of this project. <laughs> and, uh, you know, after the, the cussing, the fussing, the suing, the public meetings, here we are. And I'll be candid and say that when I was thinking about the thought, the comments that I would make this morning, I, I struggled a little bit given how sort of disjointed and sausage making the process to get here today has been. But I was coming across the bridge, looking at our great connector, seeing all of you, many of who I consider close friends and people I've admired and respected for a lot of my life there was a realization that all of that was worth it. Because this park will outlive all of us. And my grandkids and maybe great grandkids will crab from that dock and kick a ball in this park. And so to all of the partners involved, and there are so many, and I think Stephanie did a great job, and York as well of naming people that each lifted a hand. And as the good book says, many hands make light work. And so I'm grateful to, to each of you for what you've done to bring this amazing asset to bear. Um, I do want to give a special shout out to Stephanie at the, at the county for her hard work, not just on this park, but opening up so many of our public lands across the county, which I think citizens need greater access to. And I don't think without her leadership, we'd be where we are today. I also got to give a shout out to my squad. So we got city manager Scott Marshall and uh, former mayor Billy Kaiserling was an instrumental part of this project. Uh, when I was just a, a council member. Uh, but I've got Mayor Pro Tem Mike McPhee here, Councilman Mitch Mitchell, uh, Councilman Neil Lipsitz is here with us in <laughs> cardboard, <laughs> uh, Councilman Josh Scaletti, uh, and then I believe Councilman uh, Phil Cromer and Councilwoman Nan Sutton were also a part of this, of this project. Got to give a huge shout out to my Downtown Director Linda Roper, who does everything, <laughs> and Jessica in downtown operations. Again, many hands make, make light work. And I can't forget the fearless leader of Friends of Whitehall, Paul Buter. <laughs> who was absolutely dogged in his approach, <laughs> but always with a smile always with civility, and always with respect for whoever he was in front of advocating for. We need more Paul Buteres in the world. All right. And I got to thank County Council uh, for their partnership and their investment in this park. And I'll leave you with one of my favorite quotes. And that's a Greek proverb that says that a society grows great when old men plant trees whose shade they know they shall never sit under. And so again, while all the cussing and fussing and suing and hand ringing and name calling, it was worth it. And today, I'll leave here, and I hope each of you do too, with a greater commitment to this community, 
in the knowledge that when we work together and leverage our individual resources, we can accomplish amazing things that will produce shade for generations to come long past our time here. And how amazing is that? I hope you all have a very beautiful Buford day. And as always, if there's anything that I or anyone from Team Buford can ever do for you, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you. And now, drum roll. We've got big scissors for Mr. Glover and Ms. Murray to come and cut our beautiful blue ribbon.